Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about uh, how to evaluate the given postfix expression using this tag. We will report the procedure in C language. Fine. So let's say we have that expression like uh, 2 g multiplication 4 plus. And uh, to evaluate this expression, let us consider that this expression has two kinds of the things. One is the operand and the other one are the operands uh, or other one are the operators. In the given expressions, if we scan the inputs one by one, and we have two, three, multiplication, four, and plus. Here, two, three, and four are the operands, and multiplication is the operand. So, to evaluate this expression, whenever we encounter the operand that needs to be pushed on the stack, so we have first the two, the so two needs to be pushed on the stack, so let us push two, and then we have three which is again an operand so let us push that as well on the stack then we have a multiplication sign so this is an operator in case of the operator we will pop the stack so the first popped item is taken in let's say a b variable the first popped item is three on the stack three will be removed first and then two will be removed so let's say two is taken in variable a Now we apply this operation multiplication on A and B. So it is performed as A multiplication B, which gives us a, gives us the answer 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6, and 6 is pushed on this time. Okay, now after this we have a 4, 4 is an offhand, so we need to push this on the stack. So 4 has been pushed on the stack, and we have a plus which is an operator. And in the case of the operator, we will pop the stack. So the first pop, first popped item is taken in B, first popped item is 4, next popped item is taken in A that is 6, and then we perform A plus B. So have, here we are performing 4 plus 6, 4 plus 6, these two items have been removed, 4 plus 6 will be less 10, and 10 is post on this time. Now since we do not have any more symbol from the given postfix expression, so 10 is the answer. So I can at the top of this stack is 3. So let's take uh, another expression to understand this. Let's say we have an expression of kind 2, 3, 4, 5, multiplication plus let's say points. So this is the expression. So to evaluate this expression, let us segregate the various types of symbols here. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, multiplication, plus and minus. So 2 is an operand. 2 is an operand. So 2 needs to be pushed on the stack. So we have put 3 in this stack. 3 is again an operand. So we need to push 3 also. And 4 is again an operand. So that also needs to be pushed on the stack. 5 is again an operand so that also needs to be pushed on the stack. Multiplication is the operator, and then in this case, we will pop the stack. We will pop the stack two times. The first pop the item is taken in B. 5. Next pop the item is taken in A. So, next pop the item will be 4. So, 4 is taken in A. Now, apply the operation. A multiplied with B, so 4 multiplied with 5 is 20, is put on this stack. After this, we again have a plus operator, a plus operation, or plus operator in the expression. So we will again pop the stack. First pop item is taken in B, so B is taking 20 value. Next pop item is taken in A variable, so A takes 3. Now we apply a plus b. So this is 3 plus 20. This 23 is equal. Now we have minus. We pop this stack. b is equal to 3. We again pop this stack. a is equal to 3. Then we apply a minus b. So a is 2. B is 23, 2 minus 23 is minus 21. 
in the expression we do not have more symbols so item at the top of the stack is the answer so this is the item at the top of the stack minus 20 is the answer for this expression now how to code this for coding of uh, uh, this expression evaluation we need to take this expression in the form of the string because it is a combination of mother and the special symbols go operation of the symbols will be special symbols so that's why we will take this in the form of the string so this is the uh, program for the stack where we have already implemented the initialization operation push pop stack pop and empty operations we have already discussed these in the previous lectures we just have to start uh, with the evaluation of the post fix expression so let's say we have uh, taken the string post fix expression and then we are expecting this input from the user so this input is taken from the user After this, we need to identify if the given string, uh, given uh, expression character is an operand or operator. So uh, here we are considering that we have a single digit operand. So if we have a single digit operand, so we can have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So uh, we scan every character of the postfix expression one by one. So since this is a string, let us take an i which will be working as the index for the postfix expression. So while postfix expression i is not equal to the null character, it means we have a valid character. Once null has appeared, it means all the inputs have been taken. So let's say this symbol from the postfix expression has been taken into x variable. So there are two possibilities. Either x is an operand or the operator. So if uh, x is greater than or equal to the ASCII value of 0 and x is less than or equal to ASCII value of 9, means that is an operand. So if we have an operand, we need to push that on the stack. And then add this of this x. So this has been pushed to the stack. But if uh, the given input symbol is not is in between 0 and 9, so it has to be an operator. So if we have an operator, so we need to pop the stack two times. The first time Pop character is taken, pop item is taken in B. We again pop the stack and take that value in some A variable. Uh, after this, we evaluate this. Let's say evaluate is a function that will apply the X symbol, which is an operator on A and B. And, uh, Let's say it returns some answer, and we need to push this answer on the stack. So this answer will be pushed on the stack. So here you can see that if we have identified an operand, so that needs to be pushed on the stack. In case that is not an operand, it has to be an operator. So if there is an operator, two values are required to be popped from the stack. And those uh, on those two values we apply the operator. Let's say value is a function that will apply the operation between A and B. And answer is updated. That answer will be pushed on the stack. And now after this, when we are finished with all the items, I plus plus is also also the required here. And uh, once we have uh, finished with all the operations, 
whatever is at the top of the stack will give you an answer. So your answer is let's say enter. This right answer is just call the stack of function on the stack and whatever is on the top of the stack at the the implementation for implementation of uh, this we also need to understand about some of the things that we are going to insert the integer items on the stack and not the character items that's why before uh, inserting on the stack or before pushing on the stack we need to convert this character x to the integer x so uh, just to understand how this conversion is done let's say we have a zero and zero has uh, let's say the ASCII value 48 right? now one has the ASCII value 49 similarly two has the ASCII value uh, one more than 49 that is 50 this is 49 and this is 50 let's take one more 3 has an ASCII value 51 if I want to find out uh, a zero numeral from the zero character I need to subtract 48 from 49 48. it means I need to subtract the ASCII value of zero from zero in that case I will get a zero Similarly, from 49 if I subtract 48, so that then I will get 1. Similarly, so it means that from ASCII value of 1, if I subtract the ASCII value of 0, I will get a 1. Similarly, if I subtract ASCII value of 0 from ASCII value of 2, it means I am subtracting 48 from 50, I will get 2. Similarly, if I subtract the ASCII value of 0 from ASCII value of 3, I will get 3. I subtract 48 from 51, I will get 3. So it means before pushing the item on the stack, I need to subtract the ASCII value of 0 for that. Yes, I do not know the ASCII value of 0, I can simply write single quote 0. Now the conversion of the character item to integer has been done. It means that we are pushing the integer item. That is why the stack has to contain the integer items because of which will that will be. I have declared that the item array has item array will contain integer items. So type of the item array has been declared. Similarly, in the portion of the pop operations, the integer items are inserted and integer items are popped. In the main, we need to initialize, we need to declare a stack. We need to initialize that stack such that it contains no items in the beginning. And then the procedure which takes one input at a time and finds out if that is an operate, operator or operand and accordingly uh, makes the decision. Now after this, uh, we need to uh, define this evaluate function. So what does the evaluate do? It has two integer items, let's say A and B. And it has a character item, which is the operation or, or operator. And according to the operator OP, the values or operations are performed. So let's take a switch case, depending on operator. And there will be various cases if possible. So let's say the first case is plus. It means the operator has a plus value. So if you have a plus value, Will return a plus b. And in case we have minus, it will be doing a minus b. So I will decide to break. So we are, we are expecting four or five operators. 
in case of minus it will be doing one minus in case of multiplication optimism looks like one more it's not so very common but it is the automatic optical if it is not a list so a minus b we multiply with b or divide by b or a modulus b depending on what which operator we have uh, just we are expecting that uh, it is a determined to the right term. Not sure in case of the division, but let us assume that this is determined to the right term. It can be the changes in the type accordingly. So, this is the function. There are certain changes that we can make. So, P is small. Let's compile this program. If everything is fine, taking time. So X is not declared, X is the actually the character item. A and B are not declared here, A and B are the integer items. Answer okay. not declared. So answer is also an integer item. Yes, in the case of push, I need to. Pass the address of this app. No more errors, so we can run this program. Let's take a basic expression to two plus. It's giving us an answer 5 because 2 plus 3 will be performed. Let's take uh, another one. Figure 2, 3, 4 plus multiplication. This is returning as an answer 14. First addition of uh, 2 and 4 will be performed, which will give us an answer 7. Then 7 multiplied with 2 is performed, which will give us an answer 14. So this way we can do the evaluation of the post fix expression. It's a very simple uh, process through which uh, this can be performed. Thank you.